my doctor's kitchen. I got a real good one for you today. It's fast, it's easy, it's simple, and it's delicious. It's uh, Alfredo, and we're gonna use the coral, the noodle, noodles, and we're gonna go by the directions on the box. Okay, all right, on the package. So you're gonna need two and a half cups of water, a half a cup of milk, and a tablespoon of butter, okay? So we're going to take this over to the stove and let it, let it, um, we're going to put it in, in, in the, we're going to go by the direction right here. We're going to put it in and we're going to let it, um, cook, get, let it get warm and let it boil for a few minutes and then we're going to put the, um, The noodles in it okay there you have it now how simple was that wasn't that fast yes and um, let's have a taste test and don't forget I made some um, stuff uh, mushrooms with um, is this is just spinach and and um, cheese any kind of cheese you like and stuff them in mushrooms, okay? That's for my non-meat eaters, okay? So let's try this. Yeah, it's very good, delicious. Very tasty. Seasoned very well. Don't forget. My Grandma Doctor's seasoning. Welcome to Grandma Doctor's Tea Time. With great love and respect, I greet you in the name of Jesus. I am so elated that you are watching Tea Time. And it's just a blessing to me. I really appreciate you. So that today we are going to talk about uh, gratitude. Okay? All right? Um, modern medicine now says being thankful extends beyond the realm of emotional and spiritual health. Gratitude actually preserves physical health. Gratitude is a thank, gratitude is a thankfulness for the gifts of life and the gifts in life. Okay? Uh, when gratitude fills your heart, there's no room for unhappiness. So if you want to stay happy, stay thankful. Stay, stay grateful. Okay? All right? Um, happiness does not depend on getting everything we want. But it does greatly depend on our ability to feel gratitude for the abundance we have already gotten. Like Jesus died for us on the cross. Like um, breath. Like life itself, you know, okay, all right. Feeling grateful, especially in difficult circumstances and in times of uncertainty and fear can be difficult. First, you must come to the understanding that the idea that emotions just don't, don't just, just happen, okay? You can control your emotions and take actions to change the way you feel. You can develop a grateful heart. How can you do that? I'm glad you asked. Developing a grateful heart requires effort, but the benefit in physical, emotional, and spiritual health are worth the investment. How do you cultivate a grateful heart? I'm glad you asked again. Number one, count your blessings, okay? When we stop and search and recognize and number our blessings, you will be amazed at all the blessings, that your blessings outweigh 
your circumstance. Okay? You, 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 you won't believe it. You'll just be amazed. Okay? All right. That's number one. Count your blessings. Number two, I want you to make sure every day you make that a daily habit. Count your blessings. Counting your blessings. Counting your blessings every day. Okay? Uh, natural uh, gratefulness. Uh, a natural grateful feeling just like growing a, a seed. That you like to put in the ground. Seed in the ground. Grateful feelings may start small. Okay? But by quickly expressing them, they will thrive and grow. And, 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 and for you know it, you'll just be in, you, in, you'll be so happy. You won't, you won't have no chance to be unhappy because you'll be in that grateful, thankful attitude. Never miss an opportunity to express your gratefulness, in, the gratefulness in your heart. You know, don't be ashamed. You know, be thankful. Okay, all right? Remember trials are, are blessings. That's number three. Trials are blessings. You may be uh, challenged to think of stress, economic setbacks, personal tragedies, and world conflicts are blessings. But it is those trials that lead us to grow and strengthen and strengthen our faith, our faith in God. Because you can see the hand of God working in your life if you just take your time and start being thankful for every, every, even the smallest thing, be thankful for, okay? Trials are grateful teachers. Try to recognize the blessings that flow from your life's challenges. You know, what, what did I learn out of this? What, what am I supposed to learn out of this? And, and, and learn it, okay? Apply it to your life. Study scriptures, that's, that's number three. Number four is study scriptures and inspirational stories. Reading and pondering inspired writings and life histories of those who have overcome trials and developed a grateful heart are powerful lessons in gratitude. Turn to those scriptures and stories often to remind you to be grateful. Uh, the one I like, my, I like to read David's story, and I like to read Esther's story. David, I could, he, he went through a lot with Saul, yet he kept a, a clean heart toward God. He, you know, and that's what we can do too. Don't most of us blame God for our our, our problems? We shouldn't do that. God is not your problem. You your problem. You your own problem. Okay? All right? Number five, express gratitude to God. Remember that. God loves you and wants you to be happy. He blesses you beyond measure. God does not need your ex expression of gratitude. He asks you to be grateful because he knows it will bring you true joy. Okay? And the blessings that come from a grateful heart. Express your gratitude to God every day. Don't, don't, miss, don't miss a chance to express your gratitude. Okay? All right? And I, I brought, I want to read this from a, 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 a book. I brought it. It says, choose to believe in miracles. Okay? Number one, you serve a miracle God. A miracle is a supernatural intervention of God in problems of your life. Okay? By believing in the power of God, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. At some point in your life, you will either be forced to live in the potential of your faith or with the consequences of your doubt. Okay? Okay? Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith in God and His Word. God and His Word is one. Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. That's in Mark 9, 23. 
all things are possible to him. That we, we, it's our faith that makes a difference in life. Okay, all right. Faith in God, faith in his promises, faith in his word, and a fellowship with him. Every single day, not a day passed without fellowship with him, without praying, without thanking him, without um, putting all your hope in him. We put we we'll put our hope in in mankind. Mankind will, will will sometimes mean well, but they can't promise you what God can do because they can't do what God can do. And so we 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 have to get into the habit of believe. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I trust God. I I know that I, I, God wants me to win. I know God loves me. I know God is here. I know God is with me. I know God is for me. And, and, you know, speak things like, speak the word, speak the word, speak the word. Okay, all right, amen. And we'll continue uh, tomorrow, uh, next time with, with uh, gratitude, okay? Okay, all right. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We praise you, Lord, that you have, you loved us so much that you uh, sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. And we thank you, Lord, that we have our hope in, in Jesus, our hope and trust, because we are new creatures in Christ Jesus with the life of God, the nature of God, and the ability of God within us. And all we have to do is exercise the love. So help us to not waver and not be fearful, but step out in faith. And, and we know that we could be the head and not the tail. We can be above on and not beneath because of what you did for us on Calvary and because you will never leave us nor forsake us. And because you died for us so that we can have a right to eternal life. And we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. See you next time. Come back. Now, don't forget my seasonings. You go to uh, Grandma Dothas Kitchen com. Put Grandma in front of Dothas. Grandma Dothas that's our website. And you can order any of the products that I have. I, I, I'm waiting on a new shipment of my books. It hasn't arrived yet. So, uh, but I have plenty of seasoning. Uh, we can wait to, uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you don't, if you, if, you, if you order, I'll send them back to you by return mail. Okay, all right. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm happy that you tuned in. And remember, I need some subscribers. We've been at, we've been at 152,000 subscribers for a long time, too long. So let's bump it up. Let's bump it up. Let's start getting subscribers, okay? All right? We can do it. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy eating to you, and I'll see you next time.